Subpart C is actually a table within the law, and it has a list of substances, their uses, purposes, products, and amounts. Some are prescriptive, some of them are as needed, that sort of thing. Now the one we're going to look at right here is a class of substance known as curing agents. The substance itself is sodium or potassium nitrite. Now it notes here, supplies of sodium nitrite and potassium nitrite and mixtures containing them must be kept under care of the responsible employee of the establishment. The specific nitrite content of each supply must be known and clearly marked accordingly. They don't want any mix-ups by overdosing or underdosing with this compound. The purpose that we're going to look at right here is to fix the color. The products are cured meat and poultry products. Nitrites may not be used in baby, junior, or toddler foods. And the amounts we're going to look at in detail right now. The amounts of nitrite vary with the system of delivery and the type of product used. Two pounds to 100 gallons of pickle at 10% pump level, one ounce to 100 pounds of meat of poultry product for dry cure, one quarter ounce to 100 pounds of chopped meat, that's sausage, meat byproduct or poultry product. The use of nitrates, nitrates or combinations shall not result in more than 200 parts per million of nitrite. Calculated as sodium nitrite in the finished product, except that nitrites may be used in bacon only in accordance with paragraph B of this section. And that's the section above this one. This is subsection C. Sub section B is above this within the same law. We're not going to get into that, but it's, it's part of the same law. Now, as we just saw, we have different dosings within the American law, subpart C, for different purposes, different uh, applications. So what you're going to see is just for one particular type, and I am no expert, so what you're going to see you really need to take with a grain of salt. So um, if we look here at uh, what we have normally regarded as cure number one, the American cure number one, its dosing is recommended at one ounce per 25 pounds. The concentration of nitrites within that is six and a quarter percent by weight, which will result in actual nitrites per dose of 0 0.0625 ounce per 25 pound batch of sausage batter. Now looking back at what the American law subpart C table requires for to fix color purpose, the dose of one quarter ounce per 100 pounds is what's required. Now, dividing by four, we get a sixteenth of an ounce to 25 pounds. Four, they don't get ahead of me, please. 0 0.0625 ounce for 25 pounds. So, I think we can conclude that if we use the American style cure number one, which is a 6.25%, we'll get compliance to the American law for the purpose of to fix the color. This product is a sausage I made, not with number one cure containing six and a quarter percent sodium nitrite, but it was actually made with Morton Tenderquick, which is a blend of several things. It contains half a percent of sodium nitrite and half a percent of sodium nitrate. Now that allows a total at any point in time of no more than one percent total sodium nitrite available to the product and yet you can see by this picture just how well that one percent does as far as giving a nice color change, nice fixing the color that the Morton Tender Quick does for the product. It does not meet the maximum amount prescribed under subpart C but it does fix the color. Now finishing up with nitrite, subpart C also has entries for nitrate and looking at this one here we see we have the substance itself may be sodium or potassium nitrate and the purpose is to source of nitrite. The products are cured meat products other than bacon. Nitrates may not be used in baby, junior, and toddler foods. Cured, comminuted, or poultry products 
Now, what is a common duty product? Um, that's a powdered product, powdered product, uh, powdered meat product, like a soup base or something like that. It's a ground real, real fine to a powdery stage. Uh, the amounts that you would use, just like in nitrite, are variable depending on the specific application and product. Seven pounds to 100 gallons of pickle. Three and a half ounces to 100 pounds of meat and poultry product, dry cure, or two and three quarter ounce to 100 pounds of chopped or made or poultry. Well, that's about as far as I can go for this particular film. This is a particularly good um, law to look at if you want to look at what the doses, the prescriptive doses, the recommended doses. There are recommendations for the for compounds which are. Uh, generally regarded as safe so if you need to denude a product or you need to uh, uh, acidify a product you want to you want to use a base or binder it'll tell you what percentage you the maximum amount of binding that you can put in there generally it's like three and a half percent I don't know if you know it but you can use wheat gluten for a binder you can use uh, rice powdered milk for binders each one of them not to exceed three and a half percent the table really has quite a bit of information in it. Of course, it's based upon the American standards and the American laws, but that's, that's what it is. It's the American law.